Good morning, Peach. So most of y'all know this old girl here, Peaches. Well, today I wanna see if I can teach her a new trick. Fingers crossed, this work. So most of y'all know who Peaches is. I mean, if you've been following us for any amount of time, Peaches is our, y'all believe this, eight years old. She is our eight year old pot belly pig. One of our original first animals here on the farm. Well, today I wanna see if I can teach Peaches something that will change everything for her and for us. And that is if I can teach her this new trick and that is to learn how to drink out of this 55 gallon drum right here. Do y'all think we can do it? I hope we can do it. Several, several months ago, I made a video about how the ducks are just getting in our waters and making them super nasty like you see here. And I've tried several things. I tried putting a double bowl in these feeders, I mean these feeders, in these waters. And it worked for a little while, but here recently, they've realized that, or they've learned how to adapt to the double bowl. So the ducks figure the double bowl out. But the one thing the ducks haven't figured out and is working, and I think I made that video maybe a year ago. This is still working. The cattle panel on top of the trough, water trough, is still working. The animals are obviously able to drink because they, they wouldn't be here still. And the ducks cannot get in there. So that is working out perfectly. But the smaller waters here recently are not. And Peaches, with her little short stumpy legs, she can't reach the water trough. She has to depend on these. And I'm out here three or four times a day, maybe more, constantly cleaning these things out. Or the ducks get them and knock all the water out. And then, you know, there's no water. So what I got here is a 55 gallon drum right here. Now, we used to use this for hogs. We used to raise American guinea hogs at our old farm many, 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 many years ago. And this is how I kept those guys hydrated. This was their water here. So this water is set up for pigs. And if I could teach Peaches how to use this water, because sometimes it's a little tricky, uh, but if I could teach her how to use this water, it would be awesome because I won't be out here 50 times a day cleaning these out and filling them up for her. But herein lies the issue that I kind of got. Peaches is an older lady. She's an older pig. She's set in her ways. So can I teach this old pig a new trick? That's going to be the question. Another thing is, is Peaches is the only pig here on the property. So they can't kind of depend on each other. If you had like two or three pigs, then one of them can learn it and then teach the other ones how to do it. And just don't have that here currently at the farm. Yeah, pigs can actually teach other pigs how to do things like, for example, over at Sneed's farmhouse, Miss Judy, she had a pig that knew how to sit. And it wasn't but several days later, her other two pigs learned how to sit. Crazy, right? <laughs> but the good thing is, is pigs are considered one of the smartest animals in the world. Their only downside is, is their hunger drive. But they're extremely smart. So I got an idea on how I'm gonna teach Peaches how to use this water. Fingers crossed it works. I also got another challenge. Besides teaching Peaches how to use this water, how am I gonna keep all the other pets, farm pets, away from us while I teach her how to use this water? Y'all know Mildred's gonna be over here in our pocket. Y'all know the goats are gonna be super curious over here, especially Mo, Tip, and Bootsy. Not to mention sweet Jesse, who's gonna want some loving. So I got to figure out how to separate all that out. And I think I got a plan, but fingers crossed all this works today and Peaches will have learned how to drink this water. And we may not get it today. She may not learn it today. She may not, but we'll see. Good morning, boys. Good morning. 
Y'all come on. Y'all come on out this morning. How you guys doing, hmm? How's everybody doing, hmm? Oh, y'all are getting so daggum big. Look at y'all. Goodness gracious. So if you've never seen this water and you're new to the channel, this is a setup force specifically for pigs. It has these pig waterers on it that you can pick up in any feed store, tractor supply, or wherever. And I had to put an adapter on it because the plastic barrel is not strong enough to take a pig, you know, moving around or whatever in the plastic bins and it starts leaking. So I had to put this adapter on it that I picked up at Lowe's. And the way this works is, is that the pig walks up to it, they stick their mouth on it and they just bite down on it and the water comes out. It's so efficient, it's really, really great. And it actually works if you can teach the pigs how to use it. Hey, Pete, Pete, I'm rooting for you, girl. I think we can do this. I think we can do this. I feel like you can handle this, but I'm gonna to have to entice you. And I got just the thing that I think that will work. But first, we, did, we gotta separate this water from everybody else because those guys behind you right there I think are gonna cause some little issues while we learn this water. Hey, do you think you might be able to direct some traffic today? I'm gonna to try to teach Peaches how to use this water and I gotta make something to keep the other animals out. And I might need you to come out there with your, you know, cones or whatever you wanna do. I don't care how you do it, but you know, direct traffic and just keep everybody at bay while me and Peaches have school today. Just be thinking about what you can do. I mean, I don't care if you pull up a squad car, lights, you know, I, I don't care, but you know, something. Everybody, Wilhelmina, Emma Jean. What's up, Cheese? Hey, guys. Y'all know I put those uh, waterers on that 55 gallon drum for y'all, the chicken ones, and y'all learn how to drink out of it, and it's working out perfectly. I'm gonna try that with uh, with peaches. So what do you guys think? Is it gonna work? I hope so. Jeez, you gonna get in the water? Let's see it. Let's see you do it, buddy. Let's see you do it. What if I turn my head? Would that work? Huh? <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> oh, you enjoy yourself, buddy, okay? You enjoy yourself. So this is what I plan on doing with peaches in the water is build a little corral, probably way smaller than this one. And this one's fairly small, but smaller than this one. This is where we trim goat hooves, where I'm feeding Jesse. This is just like a little, a little corral area. And I think thinking about doing the same thing with the pig water and for peaches, just a smaller version of this. But in the meantime, Y'all, Peaches is asleep, so. Well, 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 maybe when I get done building this thing, she'll be up and at them, but I got a feeling she won't. So I may, I may go pick her a squash. That would smooth it over when I wake her up. Don't wanna make the boss lady too mad at me. <laughs> we need a job, don't we, Nugget? <laughs> All right, so I gotta be a little careful because they're in this little jungle area over here. This area is pretty clear in the fall and winter time, but summertime it turns into to the Amazon forest. But my hog panels or cattle panels are right here. And I'm just a little cautious about snakes. And Brooke's not here to smell them out. So just gotta be a little cautious. 
And I just want some short ones. And I got lucky. Because the top one is a short one, y'all. How lucky is that? That's perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. Perfecto. All right. I need one more for a door. I believe that's a long one. I believe that's a long one. Yeah, that's a long one. I can get lucky two times. Ooh, what's this? What's this? What's this? Two times in a row. I think I got some short ones over here. What about this? What's this? Ooh, this may be it. Ha 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 ha. This might be what we want. I think that's, I think that's wide enough. I don't think it's too small. I think that'll work. I think originally it's supposed to go like that, but I think that is too. I think this is gonna be the route to go right here. All right, Peachy, here we come. You also come in the old barn to give me some wire to tie the hog panels up to the T-post and look who's in here. It's old Pinky. What's going on, Pinky? What's up, girl? How you doing? Huh? Doing okay? Yeah. Oh, my goodness, Pink. Pink, I need some wire. You know where it's at? Yep. Pink knew exactly where my scrap wire was. Yeah, I just keep this wire. Like when we're building the house and stuff. This comes so comes in so handy of tying things down. Like... Hot panels and T post and uh, the hay the hay ring and just it just comes in handy. All right, Pink, I think we I think we're pretty good. Appreciate your help. All right, let's grab the pole driver. Get this thing built. I hope Peaches appreciates this. Maybe I can get a raise out of the boss. I don't know. We'll find out. Something. I probably just get at a boy, but I'm used to those. <laughs> All right, let's see here. See how curious everybody is? Yeah, everybody's so curious about what's going on over here. This is why I need to put this up because me trying to teach Peaches how to use this water is not going to be pleasant with all these folks right here. Y'all, this is me trying to work. <laughs> I got Jesse on one side. And I got Mildred on the other. I got lots of company. I got lots of help. <laughs> lock right there it ain't pretty and it ain't meant to be pretty but I think this is gonna work keep the animals out get peaches in there but first let's go pick her a squash and see if I can't get her lured in here yes Jesse I'll get you a squash too girl yeah I'll get you one too okay All right, so we just picked yesterday, but look at there. And there, I got to pick again today. They're everywhere. That's a good thing about squash and zucchini. They're the gift that keeps on giving. Let me make sure I don't see any more big ones because we just picked yesterday and, and pretty sure we got everything. I don't see any zucchini that are too large. Just look at the squash. Yep, the squash looks okay. Don't like we got any to harvest as of right now. 
So let's go with this one zucchini. There is something I need to do. I gotta put something on that water nipple to entice her to bite that on it, bite down on it, so she realizes that water comes out of it. So if I bite down on this, fresh, clean, cool water comes out. And I got just the thing for that. What's happening, boys? What you and Holly been doing, hmm? Lazing around? Y'all been playing tug of war. I got a feeling you've been trying to get them to play tug of war, hadn't you? They ain't playing today? <laughs> Don't look like it, does it? This is my secret weapon right here. My plan is, is to put peanut butter on the water and this is gonna entice her to bite it because I know she can't resist peanut butter. And it's gonna stick there long enough for her to mess around with and realize that water comes out of the water. So this is my trick. This is what I've used in years past and it works. Another thing we have done too is we have put honey on there that it entice them you can do syrup that does the same thing so we got several options but peanut butter is gonna be my first option all right let's put some peanut butter on this thing just like so i'm gonna do both of them All right, good deal. Got it done. Now we gotta get the peach over here. The big peaches. I'm gonna keep that there just in case I need it. Let's go get our squash we just got, I mean our zucchini. Peachy! Hey, Pete, Pete! So she was just standing outside. Now she's done going back to bed, huh? Where, what a life, right? Just sleep when you want to. All right, let me go get uh, some squash here and get her going. Or right, zucchini, zucchini. They're both squashes, but this will get her out of bed right here. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put some up here because I know I have to get some for the goats, some for Jesse. Right there. And then this is gonna be peaches. I'm gonna go ahead and stick that in there to get her to come in. All right, good news, peaches just got up. She heard me moving around and stuff. So she is up and at them. So let's try and get her to come on over here. All right, she's coming on in here, y'all. Come on, girl. Come on, Jesse, you want one? Here you go. Come on, peachy. Come on, peaches. Come on, girl, peep. Come on, Pete. Come on, Pete. Come on, Peachy. You can't force her in there. She'll back out like that. We don't want her doing that. Go on in there, Peach. Gotta do it like handsome grill. Got a river water. She feels like if she's getting enclosed in something, she will back out, y'all, quick. She's almost there. All right, so we got her. We got her. All right. All right, so let's see here. I think she's going to smell this peanut butter pretty good, y'all. I really do. Come on, Pete, look here. Come on, girl. Right here. Mm-hmm, that's good, ain't it? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. She, all I gotta do is look up, Pete. Peach, look up. Look up, Pete. Peachy. He's right there at it, girl. There you go. Look at there, y'all. That's perfect. That's exactly what we want right there. That's exactly what we want. You hear her sucking? She's getting water out of it. Water, I see the water. The water's coming out. This is perfect. 
All right. Good job, Peaches. She's steadily drinking, by the way. See the water dripping? That's perfect. Perfect, perfect. So she got water, which is great. That's what we want. So she may not want any more water. She may be done with the water. Y'all look, this is Peach's head cheerleader over here. She's got a cheering section right here. Jesse. <laughs> yeah. You cheering her on, Jesse? Come on, baby girl. You're right there at it again. I want her to do at least one more time. I'd be feel real better, feel happy about it. She did it one more time. There she goes, there she goes, yes! Y'all, that is perfect. And she's drinking the water. This is absolutely what we want right here. All right, so I think she's done. She's, uh, yeah, she wants out. She's done, but you did good, girl. Scott said you did good, you hear him? Yeah, you did awesome. I'm fixing to let you out. But I do want you to know that I'm proud of you. You did excellent, excellent job. You did very, very well. It's a good first time training session right there. And then uh, we're going to do this once a day for about a week and see how it goes, okay? And I think you're going to know these things here. It's going to be a good source of water. Boss lady wants out. We're going to let her out. Here we go, baby. We're going to let you out, okay? Now, come on out. There you go. Now. Now. All right, so that went very, 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 very well, especially for the first time. I'm happy with that. And Jesse is too. So I'm planning on doing that with Peaches every day for at least a week, at least seven days. Let's see if we can't do that and uh, get Peaches trained on using that water. I think she will use it. 100% and then when we move she'll know to use this when we get to the newborn too it'll just be way better for her we won't have to worry about the the ducks will we Jesse that's right all right well in the meantime I'm just gonna leave this gate open and Jesse says she's gonna love on me for about a minute or two is that right hmm okay we can handle that. Yeah, we can handle that. Guess what, y'all? Guess what? Y'all don't have any feed. Yeah, so I gotta go run to the store and go grab some feed. In the meantime, y'all keep cheering Peaches on, okay? Y'all keep cheering her on. Give her some, um, Give her some good support, okay? And I gotta go get some feed for everybody. I know y'all need some. Moo Man needs some. Mary Carl said her pigeons need some. Mama said some chickens over here need some. So we're fixing to go load up, run to town, go grab some feed. But seriously, y'all, y'all, y'all keep y'all, y'all, y'all tell Peaches what a great job she did, okay? Yeah, people love encouragement. Yeah. Or pigs, full of encouragement. Got the right pairs. Y'all remember. Don't put your new feed on top of your old feed. If you got a little bit in there, get it out. That's why I like to keep these little cut off half buckets here, barrels. Now, now the new feed. Hey, cheese, I appreciate you, buddy. And y'all have a wonderful day. Hey, did you hear about Peaches? Well, I'm over here, I thought I may tell you. But Peaches, I think, she, she had a good day today on teaching her how to uh, use the new water.
yeah i think i think it's gonna work out well i do but anyways if you see her tell her good job okay he just said learning new things and tricks i just absolutely wore this old girl out <laughs> oh peachy you did good though girl Hey guys, yeah, I know it's a little bit early to feed. We're about an hour early, but that is, that's not right, is it, for me to unload all this feed right here in front of y'all and then make y'all wait an hour. So we're not going to do that today. I'm going to go ahead and get you guys fed. Is that okay, Tip? <laughs> is that okay, Tipper? That's good. All right, let me get you guys fed. Yeah, that wouldn't be quite right, would it? That would be kind of ugly to unload all this feed right there in front of you guys, wouldn't it? Yeah. That would not be right. Now, is that better? We got to get Jesse now. Jesse's already waiting, y'all look. <laughs> Jesse's already waiting. I'm coming, Jess. Oh my gracious. Y'all, Jesse, something else. <laughs> Jesse says she don't play no games. She ready to eat. I'm coming, baby girl. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here you go. Oh, Jesse. Jesse, you, you smarter than the average donkey, ain't you? Boy, you got that down pat. What's going on, Corny? What's your feed look like in here, buddy? Let's see. Oh, yeah. Let's get y'all a bag in here. Corny, I know you're right next door to Peaches. Did you see her over there training? I mean, it's not the Olympics or anything, but still, I think she did a good job. She gonna have that water down in no time. Jesse, I forgot, I got you a surprise. I got you a new curry comb, so mama don't have to use the dog brush on you. Matter of fact, we'll try it out now. What do you say? All right, Jesse, let's see how this works. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, that is the bomb, ain't it? Jesse, I think you like it. Get that old winter coat out. Yeah. I know it feels a lot better once that winter coat comes out. Yeah, I know it feels a whole lot better. You're looking beautiful, though, because that winter coat is coming on out. <laughs> look how pretty you look. Let me get this other side. You ain't got to stop eating. You can keep on eating, girl. Man, look at that hair coming out. That winter coat's coming out, ain't it, baby? Look at who you hissing at. Who's he hissing at? He must have thought I was some kind of stranger over here, I guess. I mean, look at all this. Look at all this winter coat coming out. <laughs> All right, now, go and eat. Hey, girl. I just want you to know you did an excellent job today, Peaches. You did. I know it wore you out. I can see that you're tired. But, Mo, leave the camera alone, Mo. Mo, I'm trying, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to brown those peaches. Man. Sorry about that, Peach. But anyways, I just want to tell you I was proud of you. You did a wonderful job today. Um, we're going to try it again tomorrow, okay? We're going to try it again tomorrow. You showed everybody else out here that you can teach an old pig new tricks. Ain't that right? Fist bump.